Welcome back to Appliance Educator. You may have seen a few of our other videos where we reviewed certain appliances. Uh, recently we did a Forno fridge. Today we're going to review a Z-Line fridge. Um, now this is actually new to Z-Line. Um, just looking at it, um, obviously this one is a black stainless fridge. We reviewed a stainless steel Forno fridge, but this one is uh, black stainless or stainless. This is Z-Line. Aesthetically, um, let's review that first. It looks very similar to that. It is a French door fridge with two freezer drawers. However, the most notable thing, aside from it being black stainless, is the handles. Um, on that Forno fridge, the handles were kind of more of like a modern handle style that would match some hardware on your kitchen cabinets, something that's trending right now. These handles actually match their other appliances, um, such as their dishwashers or their ranges, um, specifically the range series. I personally like this style. It's a little bit more heavy, kind of industrial sort of look. Let's start going through the fridge from the bottom up. Now we have two freezer drawers. Bottom freezer drawer, you have two cavities here, essentially, for your freezer. Um, it's very cold. And the top one here, again, two cavities. However, it does have an ice maker in here. Um, you can pull the ice out as well. So if you already had cleared all your ice out and you needed to make more ice, this ice maker is very convenient to grab and get to. Um, I'm very partial for freezer drawers. Um, cold air uh, goes towards the ground, heat rises. So having freezer drawers are much better than having an actual uh, half of your fridge be a freezer. Uh, saves on space and is a lot easier to get to. Plus you're not in your freezer all the time. So very similar to the Forno fridge, the freezer capacity is just a shade over seven cubic feet. Now the fridge is a French door fridge. Um, it has a little over 12 cubic feet of space. Um, I, it looks very similar to the Forno fridge. However, there are some features um, right away that we're noticing. Obviously, uh, no beer. We uh, went to AA. Uh, thank you for that comment. Now this fridge is a little different than the Forno in the sense that the Forno had basically two solid shelves within this. This has four shelves you can independently place wherever you'd like. Very customizable and modular. The bottom right shelf, you can see it actually has this built in where you can actually push it back and you don't have to move the shelf at all. You can actually just collapse it and have taller items within here. The capacity in the doors is also very generous with how much stuff you can store within it. Um, again, you're going to have your fruit and vegetable crisper drawers that you can change on command depending on what you want, as well as a bottom crisper drawer for space. Um, what's different as well, this guy, there's no electronics or control panels within the doors themselves, um, but there is the control panel up here with an LED light. I personally like having the control panel inside or on the top of the inside, not on the doors. Uh, one main reason being, if you're going to be delivering this and installing it yourself, if there are electronics in the door, that's just extra steps for you to uninstall your doors to get it inside your house if you have a doorway that's not big enough to allow for the entire fridge to fit in. They designed this fridge in such a way that it's easy to actually remove the hinges, get the doors off, and get your fridge inside if you're installing it yourself. So within all the different modes you have on here, it does have a vacation mode, so you can set it and forget it basically, allowing your fridge to maintain that temperature forever. There is also a super cool setting and a super freeze setting for your fridge and your freezer. Um, I believe those actually super cool the fridge down to 34 degrees and the freezing function uh, basically sets your freezer at negative 7 degrees. So if you need to get it cold really fast, that's a great setting for this. One thing that's really cool about this fridge is the warranty. Um, any major appliance you get, you always want to look at the warranties it offers and if it has extended warranties. The Zealand refrigerator has a one year parts and labor warranty, meaning within the first year you buy it, Z-Line will have servicers come out, fix it for you if there's an issue, parts sent out. It's pretty extensive and nice. Um, it does have a five-year sealed parts warranty. Um, looking into that, I wasn't sure of exactly what a sealed parts warranty means, but that basically covers how this refrigerator works. The condensers, the compressors, everything that's like sealed, the machinery inside of it, those have a five-year parts warranty. Now, within that four-year range, if you have the, the, any issues, you will have to have a servicer come out, but I believe they have an extensive options for servicers, or if you have an, a local handyman, um, but that's really neither here nor there. A one-year parts and labor warranty and a five-year parts warranty is pretty outstanding, especially for a fridge at this price point. Now, another similarity to this with other uh, updated fridges is it has um, R600 coolant, which is not bad for the ozone, whereas older fridges use that coolant that is actually very harmful for the environment. 
So they're very environmentally conscious. It's actually Energy Star rated as well. And price-wise, this is about on par with a Forno. So the one we reviewed before, this is very similar in price. However, this does allow for black stainless or stainless steel. Um, reaching out to Z-Line, they do intend on releasing um, refrigerators with water uh, systems built in, water filter systems. Um, I personally ref prefer this kind of look. Um, you have a tap in your house, you don't need to have a water filter. Some people love that feature, but it does take up space in your door and your fridge itself. Just keep that in mind when you're buying a refrigerator. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. And if there's any products that you want us to review or look at intensively, please drop a comment down below or reach out to us on social media. We're basically everywhere. Thanks again for watching.